Hey guys, it's time for our Friday feature here at Tie Dye Iguana, and today we're going to talk about one of the cutest little tree frogs in the whole world, the bird poop tree frogs. Now from their name you might think these guys are pretty ugly, but they're actually pretty cute, and today we're going to talk a little bit about their care and why they make such great pets. All right, so we'll start out with a few fun facts about these guys. Their scientific name is Dendropsophus merimeritus. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Their common name is the bird poop frog or the marbled tree frog. As for where these guys come from, they come from southern Venezuela, the Guianas, and the Amazon Basin in Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. So they're from a lot of different places. <laughs> Now, as far as their common name goes, so you can tell by the way they look that they've really earned that name of bird poop frog, because from far away, they look like bird poop. They've got a mottled brown, black, gray, and white pattern all over, and it kind of makes them look like bird poop. This kind of coloration helps these guys camouflage out in the wild and kind of protects them from predators because, you know, predators aren't looking to eat bird poop. So when they see them sitting on a leaf, they'll just pass them by because they look like bird poop. But what's really cool is on their bellies, uh, once they get older, they develop a nice yellow color with black spots. But the ones we've got right now, they're too young for that, so they just have white bellies right now. Now as far as how big these guys get, they only get about one and a half to two inches long. So they kind of get about the size of a green tree frog, uh, a little smaller than a green tree frog actually on average. But yeah, they stay pretty small, so they don't take up much space, so they're good for people who are looking for something that stays smaller and they don't maybe don't have a lot of room for an animal. As far as their lifespan, the average frog can live for five to eight years, but they can live longer in captivity with ideal care. We would recommend a minimum of a 10 gallon for these guys and uh, you can even go up to a 20 gallon. Uh, because these guys are arboreal, you'll probably want to get a more vertical tank, a more arboreal one, instead of one that sits uh, horizontally. These guys are a tropical species and they require between 50 to 70 percent humidity, so you'll want to use a nice absorbent tropical substrate. Peat moss, coconut fiber, reptile bark, or sphagnum moss, or a mix of all those are suitable for these guys. These guys are a cooler species like most of your tree frogs out there. They need to stay between 72 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, once you get beyond that 80 degree mark, that'll be too hot for them and that can kill them. So just make sure it doesn't get past that 80 degree mark. Usually room temperature is fine depending on how cool you keep it in your house. And as for lighting, make sure you don't use any heat bulbs with these guys. Here in our tank we just use CFL bulbs which uh, just gives you the visual light. Uh, it doesn't give out any heat. That way we can display the frogs and see them in the tank. As far as their behavior, you can keep several bird poop frogs in one tank. Males will compete for mates, but they'll live fairly peacefully with each other, so you don't have to worry too much about them getting into fights and stuff. Also, these guys are pretty shy and don't really like to be handled much at all, so you won't be able to hold them or anything uh, very much yourself. So, if you want a frog that you'll be able to handle, these guys wouldn't be for you. Now, as far as what they eat, they eat insects. Uh, we feed ours small crickets, really tiny ones since they're so small, but as they get bigger they might be able to eat uh, bigger crickets. So they're strict insectivores. So when it comes to decorating your tank, make sure you include lots of different plants, whether they be fake or real, branches, and other places for them to hide in and perch on. And like all other frogs, make sure that they have fresh water every day. Make sure that it's dechlorinated tap water. Chlorine is very bad for them because they can absorb it through their skin and it can hurt them. So yeah, that's just an overview on our bird poop frogs and how to take care of them properly and what you'll need. These guys are super cute and they're a pretty popular species at our shop. If you live near our store, make sure to hop on by and check them out. 
or you can check them out on our website at www.thetdi.com under Available Exotics Amphibians. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.